Jason Jets and everything in between outside of it. Well, welcome to the new video. So today we're doing my July TBR and mate, it is ambitious. It's I'm scary. Yeah, just a fair little warning. I won't be posting a what I read in June this month. I will just do be doing it collectively with my July one because I barely read any books this month and it feels kind of stupid. So just so you guys know, so sorry you have to wait, but there's a video here, so shh. So basically towards, sorry for my dog, uh, towards the end of July, um, me and my mom are going back to England and again, if you've been following me for longer, you know that Lily, every time I go to England, I buy shit ton of bucks. I think last time I came back with like 22 or something like that, just a massive amount. And it's just because like you have better deals there here in the Netherlands, it's quite difficult to find, you know, English written books that are not extremely overpriced. I thought maybe it's a good idea to have an ambitious TBR so that I can make space to add more books because I think I still have like 70 unread books and I know for a fact I'm going to be coming back with at least 10. So the first book, well it's not the first book I want to read but one of the books that I want to read is uh, Paper Towns by John Green. So if you have been, again, if you watch my videos then you would know that I like to do this thing, it's like compare and contrast. I finally decided to give it a name, compare and contrast, where I will read the book and then watch the adaptation of it. Um, and there is an adaptation of Paper Towns and I have this book. But I'm just like really excited to read this. It is about, so the main character is Quentin and he's always loved Margot from afar. You know, they kind of get close and then all of a sudden she disappears. This sounds a lot like looking for Alaska, but um, she disappears, but she's left like breadcrumbs to find for Quentin. Um, so it's kind of like an, in, like an investigation for like his little lover. And I don't know, it just seems cute. And I feel like this is going to be interesting and wholesome at the same time. If it's interesting and sad and wholesome, uh, I don't know what I will do. Then the next book I'm going to read this month, and I feel like everyone can see this coming, is Shut Your Mouth! Terms and Conditions. So in May, I read um, The Fine Print and I loved it. When I tell you I was obsessed with it, I was obsessed with it. Like literally I would talk to my boyfriend about it and like I talked to my boyfriend about my books but not that in depth. Like I would literally read him pages because I was like you need to hear this. I was just like literally I think like a week after I finished the book I immediately ordered this. It was on offer for only 10 euros without shipping. You know it's quite a hefty book. It's like almost 500 pages. So but like the summer I just want to read a lot of romance and I really liked uh, Lauren Asher's writing. I'm also debating on going to the Dirty Air series so please let me know in the comments if I should. Just because the writing is nice and like do you guys think i would like it yeah no i'm just really excited to read this and some people say that the second book isn't as good but it's still good like i literally don't care even if it's just like good and not like as good i don't care i just i just feel like this is gonna be cute especially because this is one this is between uh declan and iris and we get like a little basically a little foreshadowing a little preview in the first book the uh billionaire the dreamland billionaire series is about it's like about a family about brothers and they just like inherited I guess the dreamland billionaire because it's like Disneyland but a bit different and they all have like this task that they need to do um and Declan's task is that he must get married I don't know why to be honest but it's, it just was his grandfather's dying wish I'm just really excited to read this chunk of a book <laughs> and the next book I obviously have to get to is Reminders of him. I finally read um, It Ends With Us, uh, reading vloggers all about that, but this is currently the last Colin Hoover book I have in my room, but I just feel like this is a very nice book to read um, just during my holiday because it's floppy and I just love floppy books and I don't know, I just feel like I'm going to enjoy this a lot, but I'm pretty sure this is about like a mom and she goes to prison and everyone so she gets out and then everyone in her town does not want her like to get close back to her daughter but obviously she does want to and there's only one guy that like kind of is on her side um and i feel like they're i think it was like they would have like a little bit of romance and like they're gonna like together try to get her to her daughter or something like that but apparently it's really really sad and the next book i literally have never seen anyone talk about on Instagram or just book talk or booktube but I've seen it all over his own Instagram obviously but it's Dylan Sloss books I said Dylan 
I'm ashamed. Daniel Sloss. I don't know who he is, he's a Scottish comedian, I believe. But he's a comedian and um, um, he wrote a book and I just needed to have it. And then I got it last year for Christmas and I still haven't picked it up. And because it's kind of like a book that you have to read, like you pick it up and you put it back down. But my goal for this month is just to maybe pick up and read one chapter because it seems like such a fun book. And I feel like if I don't start it eventually, when will I? The next book that I want to read is Secret Smile by Nikki French. So I think in my room I have like a good 10 Nikki French books. And I haven't read a single Nikki French book. But my mom is obsessed with the authors. Guys, I think it's like co-authors. This was the first book that she ever gave me, so I feel like I should start with this one. Um, I actually don't know what it's about. Yeah, Miranda Cotton thinks she put her boyfriend Brendan out of her life for good, but two weeks later he's intimately involved with her sister. Um, Sue up again as an embarrassment becomes threatening, then even more terrifying than a girl's worst nightmare, because this time Brendan will stop at nothing to be part of Miranda's life, even if it means taking it from her. That's intense. Yeah, that's what this is about. That's gonna be interesting. That is just intense. Her sister? I'm excited for my own review. Next book that I have on my TBR is Truly Devious. I feel like this has been on my TBR ever since I've been doing monthly TBRs, but I don't know, I just can't get to it because I kind of go off mood and recently I've just been feeling more like romance and lighthearted stuff. It's just so massive. It's just so massive. Like, it's heavy. It's like proper heavy, but it's still massive. But I do really, really want to start this because um, last summer I read the Good Girls Got to Murder series and I haven't gotten over that yet. And this is another, it's not a trilogy, it's just a series, I think. Um, but this is another like murder mystery, kind of similar vibe, you know, investigating. And I just need to, I need to get into it. But it's about this girl that goes to this private, famous private school. And basically a really long time ago, there was this thing that happened. People got killed and then um, the only clue was a mocking riddle listing the methods of murder. Um, and basically that happens again. And then it's kind of this girl, she's in her first year at the academy and she just is like immediately gripped by this and she wants to solve herself. So that's very Good Girl's Guide to Murder vibe. But I love those. I love those books. I love where they go self-investigate. It's the best thing ever. Like, I would do the same. So like, pop off, pop off queen. Yeah, I think maybe after I finish my current book, um, gonna go to this one. The next book, which is literally the same, I feel like it's been on my TBR for the past couple of months, is Say You Remember Me. I've said this already so often, like, at this point, I think you guys even know what this book is about, but if you don't, um, it's about Drix and he got convicted of a crime he didn't commit and then Elle, she's the governor's daughter, and they like fall in love and she's trying to like prove his innocence, but it's kind of like we can't be together and then it's like a heart-wrenching story, but it's such a floppy book. And I got this second hand as well for like literally like two pounds. This just seems really, really good, but I just haven't picked it up. Next book, Acts of Desperation. So if you have like kind of like a bookstagram discovery page, this is like the hot girl, sad girl book type of vibe. Um, so my mom actually got me this. Well, she got it and then she was like, Sophie, I think you'll like it. And I started it. I'm on like page like 20. And it's not like I want to DNF it because it is good, but it's like, it's very intense writing. So it was kind of that type of book. Like I don't have the brain cells for this right now. I'll just read a review because it doesn't really have a blurb and I feel like this review puts it like says it quite well. A blistering anti-romance about the seductive destruction of trying to find self-worth in the gaze of another. I think it says in the name like she's desperate to find somebody else because she wants like she needs validation from somebody else to feel that self-worth. I think this is really good to read in a park just in one sitting and analyze the shit out of it. And annotate the shit out of it. Um, so I think that's a plan. Girl in Pieces. I actually almost picked it up, but I'm actually like, I was debating between the book I'm reading now and this one because my friend she told me that she loves this book and she wants to read more of the books of the author. And 
Like, I kind of put it off because I was scared that it was going to be too triggering for me. And I just heard so many good things about it. And then I was just like, I want to pick it up so bad. And then, yeah. I just feel like this is going to be super good. So basically, it's about this girl. She's 17 and she's already lost more people than people would normally, like, lose in a lifetime. Like, she's just really sad and she's, like, on the edge, I think, of, like, you know. So I feel like it's kind of going to be her journey of, like healing summer turn pretty so i think everyone knows the summer i turn pretty at this point um but it is now officially a amazon prime show and you know me i would have to do a compare contrast video on it so i would have to read and buy the book before i can watch the show but it's all over my tiktok so i want to watch it so so badly i almost bought it and then i didn't and then now if i would buy it it would be so expensive and it would take so long to get here that i'm like i can just wait for england but the summer I turned pretty is just about like it's about a girl and like it's the summer where she turned pretty so like kind of like the boys are starting to more look at her and I feel like it's like I think it's like a love trying between two brothers. Yeah. My camera is like overheating but it's also really warm in my room like I'm boiling. I'm dying. But yeah that's all I have for you today and I hope you enjoyed it. I again want to say thank you so much for being so supportive. Um, leave obviously any recommendations down below. If you have any opinions about this book, let me know. If you're still watching, comment the star emoji because I just feel like it. And I know who the real ones are. I'm gonna shoot myself for saying that. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you.